Hi guys and welcome to a new PHP tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to hash passwords in PHP so without further ado let's get started. As you can see I'm in Visual Studio Code in the PHP tutorials folder. I will create a new folder by right clicking here and I will name it password hash. Inside this folder I will create a new file and name it index.php. Now inside this file I will open the PHP tags to tell the server that we are using PHP. You now password hashing is used when if you want to encrypt the passwords that you save on your database to make them more secure and the idea is to never use a plain text as a password in your database but always to use some kind of encryption or hashing. Starting with PHP 5.5, PHP introduced a very simple and easy to use function to do a password hashing. It's called password hash. So let me show you how it works. We start by typing password hash and it gets three parameters. First and the second parameter are mandatory and the third one is it's optional. You can use it or if you want or not. In this tutorial I will show you how to use just the first and the second parameter. The first parameter is the password that you want to encrypt. So it's a string. In real time example you will get the password from the user input or from the database or somewhere else. But here I will just type it in the editor. Make sure you never do this. I will do this just for testing purposes and for the purpose purposes of this tutorial. In quotes I will type test123 as a password and now the second parameter we need to type the password that we want to use to do the hashing of the password. Now there are many algorithms to be used but the most current one and most secure one is password bcrypt but one other thing that you could do is use the password default constant and whenever PHP updates the default password you will make sure that that you're using the most current one. Currently the default password is the same as the password bcrypt algorithm so if you type out either of them you get the same result. In this tutorial I will be using the password default constant so let's type it in this second parameter all in capital password default and that's pretty much it. But to show you the result, I will keep this in a variable. As you can see here, it says that password hash started, was firstly introduced in PHP 5.5. Now I want to keep this password in a variable, this hash password in a variable. I will type $hash and equals and now my hash is kept in this variable. To see the hashed result I will echo this value echo hash and I will add a new break. And now to see the result I will first make sure to close this part here by clicking it here. Move this to the left. Make sure that your Apache server is running and open the browser. Type localhost, then I will type PHP tutorials, then password hash is my other folder name, and slash index.php. Uh, it looks like I've saved this file outside of the folder, so let me just drag it inside it. And now if I refresh it, this is the password that we get. This is the hashed password. So if we give, let me close this again, if we give this value and we want to hash it with the password default, this is the value that we get. Now if I go ahead and refresh it, we get another value and it each time you want to hash the same string, you don't get the same result because that is the security implied by this function. That is why with this function is very secure. I must note that this password hash is called one-way hashing because you can just you can only hash the password and you cannot go the way back. You cannot decrypt. There is no way in PHP to decrypt this password. The only thing you can do is to verify if the password is correct. So to do that we will use the password verify function. Let me move down here and type password verify. 
And this function also has two parameters. The first parameter is the password string and the second parameter is the hashed value you want to compare it to to see if, if the hash password is correct. For this example I will type a wrong password, not the one which is here, but I will type another one. I will type test 423 and now I want to compare it to this hashed value here. And if I keep this in a variable and I will copy this line, paste it here, just need to change verify. Now if the password when hashed gives the same value as here, it means the password is the, is correct and the password verify will return a value of 1, an integer of 1, but if the passwords are not correct then we'll get a value of 0. Now if I save this file and run it, since the return is, is a string we need to cast it to integer. I will type int in front of it and here you go. This password is not the same as this password here or the hashed password here. That's why we get the value of zero. Now to show you that it works when we provide the correct passwords, let me copy this here and paste it here and I will make this variable to be verify one and now I will copy this value here and paste it here and now if we compare it, we must get a value of one. I need to copy this line as well echo it here and just make sure that you echo this value here not this one save the file and if you refresh it here's the hash password here is when we compare using the password verify and the passwords are not correct and this is the value when the, we provide the correct password and compare it to the hashed value we get a value of one so if the value here is one it means that the, the password provided is correct and if the value here is zero it means that the password was incorrect always make sure that you use some kind of hash when you keep your passwords in your database because in that way you make sure that the, that the pers passwords are secure. Never use plain text as a password. The password hash function gives us a very secure hashing value. If you want me to make more tutorials like this in PHP, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow this channel in Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you want to watch more PHP tutorials, you can do that by clicking the card above. I hope this was a useful tutorial and you can use it in your real projects. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. And with you guys, I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and bye.